Yes, it's Fox News Senior Judicial Analyst Judge Andrew Palatano. Good morning. Great to see you. Talk about the legality of cutting this funding to sanctuary cities, Judge. Well, it, it is clear under Supreme Court rulings that the federal government cannot force states and local police to work for them without paying them for it. Can't say you will enforce federal law at your expense. It can't do that. Called commandeering. Correct. Yeah. The phrase is commandeering, meaning the feds can't take over the state police of New Jersey okay. or the NYPD for a limited period of time, saying you're going to enforce our uh, our laws and you're going to pay the cost for it. But the feds can give the locals money, and in return for those mon those monies, attach strings, and the strings can be almost anything. The recipient, let's say the city of New York. And the, and the donor, the federal government, wants to put in there. So if one of the strings is, you will tell us where illegals are, and you will hold them, you will detain them in your facilities until ICE can show up, and the, and the locals agree to that condition, then they are bound by it. It's a contract. But none of those conditions presently exist because the donor, the federal government, was under Barack Obama, and those conditions were not made as, a, as part of the uh, recipient of the funds. But they're, they're not asking here for the 48 hours of detention. They're simply saying you can't impede local officials from providing information to federal officials about immigrants or anyone here who might be at issue, right? I mean, they're not talking about detaining. They're just talking about information. Actually, what they want, the particular thing that the feds want is the detaining. If a, if a person is arrested for a crime, the crime that uh, Attorney General Sessions was talking about is almost always not a federal crime. It's a local crime, a city crime or a state crime. So a person is arrested, they look the person up and they realize this person is not here legally. A, do they have an obligation to call the feds? They don't have an obligation to call the feds. B, do they have an obligation to keep this person until the feds arrive? Well, the feds don't even know the person has been arrested. C, if the feds do find out that the person was arrested, does the NYPD have the obligation to detain that person at its own expense? Answer, no. Now, Donald Trump will eventually get his way. By, by, by the next budgetary right. year mm -hmm. when those monies are given and the strings will be part of them. The city of New York simply cannot afford, same with Chicago and almost all these recipients of federal funds, cannot afford to say no to the federal government because they have crafted their budgets expecting to receive the federal dollars that they have received uh, in the past. And these federal dollars go to very, very important things. The police department of the city of New York requires federal dollars to fill in budget Budget gaps. If those federal dollars are not there because the city is not complying or the city refuses to accept the terms of, of the federal money, that's going to raise local taxes to fill those gaps. Right, and you put potentially the security of the people who live in the city and live in other cities at risk if you if you fight accepting those federal dollars. Yes, yes, I think that's probably what. Uh, General Sessions was talking about when he said New York is soft on crime. New York is not soft on no, crime. We not have at a all. fantastic police department mm -hmm. and a great police commissioner. I think he meant, though, ultimately there will be harm in those cities that do not cooperate with the feds when they try to arrest those here unlawfully who have committed a crime and seek to deport them. Oh. One of the reasons this is newsworthy is because the Obama administration didn't do this. It shouldn't be newsworthy that the feds are enforcing federal law. But when you follow an administration like the Obama administration and you enforce federal law as it's written, that becomes newsworthy. It's because oh, the message was it's okay if you, as a mayor or even a governor, want to harbor illegal immigrants and not yes. work with the with federal immigrations and customs enforcement.